Today we are diving into something super exciting, the new attention to detail features in the Monster Hunter Wild beta test. If you are a fan of the series like I am, you are going to love what we are discussing today. First off, let's talk about the beta test itself. This is a unique opportunity for players to experience new content before the official release. The developers have empathized that player feedback will play a huge role in shaping the final game. First is the visual adjustment. The graphical fidelity in Monster Hunter World is truly breathtaking. The environment are richly detailed with free bands color that make each bloom feel distinct. For instance, the way the sunlight casts dynamic shadows through the foliage creates an atmosphere that both beautiful and immersive. The world in Monster Hunter World is filled with small environmental hazards details that can enhance your gameplay in the game. When you start a fire in tall grass, the flame can spread creating a dynamic environmental reaction. As the fire spreads, it can damage monsters that get too close allowing you to use the environment to your advantage. However, character can also react to the heat, experience a gradual loss of health if you linger too long. As you navigate through dense foliage, be mindful of low-hanging branches. Running into them can cause damage to your character, adding an extra layer of realism. In swampy area, walking through mud can slow you down and make you more vulnerable during encounters. Additionally, some surface can be slippery, making it challenging to maintain balancing while dodging attack. The monsters have received a significant overhaul in their AI and behavior patterns. These creatures now react more intelligently to the environment and creating more dynamic hunting experience. In stormy weather, you might witness a creature being struck by lightning. This adds an unexpected twist to hunts and encourages players to pay attention to the weather condition. In the swamp bloom, small creatures are not just passive but they can be hunted by other small predators. For instance, if you're tracking a small monster, you might find that it's being hunted by a bigger one lurking in the swamp. You can actually move small monster with your weapon. It's actually a cool small detail. A grapple hook can be used to hook on small flying weapon to the ground. You can also see small details when you are reloading your gun lens. While riding Nejigante, Nejigante can actually spread its wings and glide while you are riding airborne. This is one of the features that makes exploration much easier with Nejigante. Each boss in Monster Hunter World have different interaction with each other. You can actually interrupt while they are doing their interaction animation. Your armor can get coated in sand while stumbling in desert environment. And if you're sliding down a slope or incline, you can actually perform a special attack while in motion. You can also climb while equipping your weapon and do a special attack while in motion. There are also small details like when you perform a plus attack into the sand, there is a mark of your weapon that can be seen behind left for a while. There are also a special animation that can be triggered while you are cooking a well done stick in Monster Hunter World. So if you're looking for a fun surprise while cooking a well done stick, this is a cool little detail that shows your hunter savoring the moment. Additionally, when you are cooking with different types of ingredients, depending on the ingredients that you use, the animation changes to show your hunter cooking with all those ingredients. It's a little neat touch that makes the cooking process feel even more immersive. There are also a special finisher move skills that you can trigger while you are mounting the boss. Depending on your weapon, there are actually a special skill animation that can be triggered in the game. There are also a unique feature in the game where you can adjust the appearance of multi-legged creatures such as arachnids. This doesn't affect the creature movement or difficulty, but can actually transform the appearance of the creature. Our palicos can actually react when we shoot our heavy balloons towards it. When using a special or a curtain skill while you are equipping a bow, you can actually see your arrow piercing through the monster. There are also a new feature where you can equip and use your weapon while you are riding the gigante. A red laser mark in our character and a red indicator in our head speed can now be seen when a boss is about to trigger a very fatal move. There are also several animations that you can see when our character is fainted and was brought back to the camps. You can also capture a small creature using a capture net. Our palicos can sometimes be seen hanging on the tail of our Nejigante, which had another cute details on the Monster Hunter World game. The new map in Monster Hunter World is also very detailed for searching specific item. You can also track the exact life location of the last monster you are hunting. Your weapons can still be deflected when you are attacking the last monster even if it's already defeated. There are a short animation that can be triggered when you are embarking on a quest. A red glowing light can be seen from the last monster part to trigger one effect on the monster. Some monsters have their own behavior animation and sometimes can be seen triggering their idle animation. Our Nejigante can also be seen carrying our secondary weapon. 
In Monster Hunter World, the character creation system is incredibly detailed, offering a wide range of customization options that allow you to craft a hunter that truly reflects your personal style. From adjusting facial features, skin tone, hairstyles, and choosing armor sets and even selecting unique voice types. The game actually gives you a lot of control over how your character looks. What's particularly impressive is how seamless your custom character integrates into the game's cinematic cutscenes. Whether you're watching an intense battle sequence or interacting with the NPCs, your hunter remains consistent in the appearance, preserving all the unique choices you made during the creation. There's no doubt that Monster Hunter was bringing a tons of exciting new features to the table. From the introduction of first weapon skill to the vast potential the game has once it's fully released. It's clear they started exposing the franchise to new heights. Let's not forget the amazing graphics even in the beta. The world feels alive with breathtaking details from the last environment to the monster beast you'll hunt. Sure, there are a few bugs here, like the monster running up a wall which is a testament to how much there is to come. But even if it's unfinished state, the game is absolutely blessed to play. It's not just a game, it's an experience. The attention to detail, the sense of scale, and the seamless integration of new features make Monster Hunter World one of the most promising releases in the series. While there is still room for polish, the foundation is strong and the journey ahead promises to be nothing short of epic. If this is just the beginning, then I can't wait to see what's next. Thanks for watching and remember the hunt never truly ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you on my next video.